Hi and welcome. This video is designed to help you fill in sections E and G of your 2017 Annual Information Statement. Section E asks charities to upload their annual report, while section G covers a number of other obligations, updating or changing a charity's responsible persons, governing documents and other details. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation. They don't belong to an actual charity. It is also important to note that a number of the details you might enter in these two sections will appear publicly, so it's important that you get the details and any website links correct. OK, let's begin. Section E allows your charity to upload or share a web link to its annual report. An annual report is a publication which can detail a range of important information about a charity and its work in the reporting period. It may include its mission and vision, overviews of its activities and achievements over the past 12 months, as well as future activities it has planned, and reports from key staff and board members, and information about the charity's finances and governance. Having your annual report on show through your charity register listing is also a great way to promote your group and inform people, potential supporters, donors and the like, who might search the register for information about your charity and its work. If your charity has an annual report, you can include a web link to it or upload it, so it can be easily accessed from your charity's listing on the ACNC register. If you are uploading your annual report, please be aware it may take a minute or so to properly upload. And just to note, your charity's most recent annual report will be displayed on the ACNC register. Section G covers obligations charities have in relation to updating their responsible persons, governing documents and charity subtype. On this page of the Annual Information Statement, a list of records for your responsible persons and their positions at your organisation will appear. You will have the option to edit these records if responsible persons' details have changed, or to remove the records of those who are no longer responsible persons. The section directly underneath will allow you to add a responsible person by filling in their details and adding their record. It is important you review the details you have entered, and remember, only the name of each responsible person and the position they hold in your charity will appear on the charity register. If you want to withhold a responsible person's name and position from appearing on your charity register listing, apply to do so through the charity portal before you complete your annual information statement. You can submit your annual information statement immediately after submitting your withholding request. Read more about withholding information at www.acnc gov.au forward slash withhold info. Once you have confirmed the details for responsible persons are correct and have ticked the confirmation box, the next two sections cover charity governing documents and charity subtypes. If your governing document has changed, you can update it after completing the 2017 Annual Information Statement. To do so, visit the charity portal, go to Change Charity Details and select Change My Governing Documents. Similarly, when it comes to your charity subtype, you may need to make changes to your records if your charity's purpose has altered. You can do so through the charity portal. More information about governing documents can be found at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash governing document, while more on charity subtypes can be found at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash charity subtypes. There's also plenty of support material in the Annual Information Statement Guide, available via www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017AIS guide. For assistance with this or other sections of the 2017 Annual Information Statement, you can visit the Annual Information Statement Hub at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017AIS. And as always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.